You still have it yet? So you got it? See, all you really do is like walk around and stuff. Like I just talked to this dude in the church and he's like, oh God, oh God. And like, I'm assuming that means he died. Really? What is this? <clears throat> Wendy, who's Wendy? I can only interact with some things and the interact button is R1 L1 L2 square triangle circle X everything interacts with everything oh hold oh, oh, your look at that The graphics are really good. trying to get me to do something first. I think. Um, Alright, whatever. Screw it. Fuck it. Oh my. What was that? Oh. so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bowden has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, 
Nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I must fit as a Hold on. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. I'm pretty sure there's nobody here, dog. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody else and I've been playing this game for a little bit. And I don't think, and who's to say I'm like even a person? Like I don't see any feet or anything. I mean, yeah, you kind of like walk around and like you step on stuff like you are, but you might just be, I, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? <clears throat> like you got physical movement of everything else around you like you're, you are, but I don't know. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't seen anybody else here, and I don't, and to my understanding, it was basically kind of like a, um, a massive plague. Oh, shit. <laughs> For a second I thought I did. Pretty sure I start at the bottom, like right there. And then last time I checked at the map, I was at that little half circle, that orange line. And if you follow it, it goes all the way up. Yeah, first thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. 
Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. It must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Oh, that's cool. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. I forget that everything I do is lagged like five seconds on your part. Cause I was already up in the treehouse and you're like, go up to the treehouse. I think it's everybody's just dead. You'll see. The lines, the interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained.
Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy, this is traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You da bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll not argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. It's not working. Really? <laughs> All right. Figured it would have gone first. Push, it. push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I thought you were just taking the car. This was a stupid idea. Moving here was a stupid idea, and I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! No, we're gonna find Harvey. Probably. I, I know. I need this game to save. Alright, we're 
this already. No idea where this light's going. On you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump it. <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink. Wonderful. Mikey, you're breathing. Alright, well, it's. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> 